Hey guys, one here. Today we are playing Fortnite. I will be showing you kill tunnels and how to make them. Let's get started. Save the world. All right, I'll be showing you guys in Plankerton because in Canley Valley, the monsters are a bit tough. We might not be able to kill them with just traps. So let's play here. All right, so here, let's start with a standard kill tunnel. Let's get rid of this tree. I'm going to build it right here. So what I do is on the side, I would have a two to three wall high. Well, not two to wall, two to three wall thick like protector like this. So you see how there's one wall, two wall and one tile, right? And I'm going to add this here, three walls like that, three walls. So then they're more encouraged to walk through here instead of breaking this. So then there's two like this. I usually make it too thick. Oops. Like that. And this is your standard kill tunnel. They will, I would say 99.9% .9 of the time go through here instead of breaking that. Here, let's put down a trap and see if it works. Let's use some cheaper traps. Two of these would be more than enough to kill those. Okay, so one other thing that you can do to slow down their advancement is have half low walls. So like this, and then rotate here, and rotate here. So this would force the the huts and stuff would just walk here and zigzag. If they zigzag, it takes longer time. And if there's like a smasher right here, it would block their path and slow everybody down. All right, let's aggro someone. Yeah, okay, you guys can come here too. See, look. They're just going to walk through that path. They're not going to break the wall. They're just going to walk through. They're just going to walk through. And these traps are just going to keep attacking them. So this is your standard kill tunnel. Alright, let's move to the next one. So this is the double path kill tunnel. So to make this work is what I do is same thing ceilings at the top. Here we know from experience that we can have one whole wall here and then a half wall here. Because their travel distance just from experience is half a wall. Oops. I mean, one whole wall, so if you have two half walls like this, they will whack it, definitely. It takes even longer for them to walk, and you can have, like, wall launches here and push them back to label them even more. Here, I'll show you. Two wall launchers. I won't have any... I won't have any, like, damaging traps, because we want them to... We want to show you guys how it works. All right, let me thicken up this wall. Like that. All right, let's get started. So if you have like floor spikes, wooden floor spikes, these are perfect. They slow them down and these guys push them back. Let's aggro this guy. Storm swarm. Yeah, okay, we can aggro all of them. Die already. So look, they're they're aggroed here, right? So if we stand right here, we'll see they'll just walk 
all the way around and get knocked back. They're gonna walk all the way over there. We're taking damage, guys. And it's gonna get knocked back. Sometimes if you see look, it'll just keep walking. This is gonna push them back. Just like that. It works really efficiently if you pair up with like wall darts here and here. Wall darts here, here, and here. It's really efficient. Or you can have like wall dynamos if you really want to, but you have to make sure to upgrade all the wood at least to tier three. Stone tier three, metal tier two. Because the uh, Dynam dynamite? The propane guys would just wreck everything. Alright, I'll catch you guys back in the third kill tunnel. Alright, here is the third kill tunnel. It's a ramp tunnel. So this is two walls high, as you can see. Two walls high. To make this kill tunnel is you have one platform here one platform here right and then you have like a tunnel Look out. Force under attack. have one here because you want wall darts and you want to shoot them here because the, the wall darts shoot three long so here's one two three right here so you try to do as much damage to them as possible while using the least amount of travel distance materials per per tile so this is what I do. Alright. So wall dart here, wall dart here, and wall dart right here. It's really useful. Here, I'll, I'll show you. I'll craft three wall darts. This is also useful if you have ceiling zappers right here. Because once they come here, they're inside this tile and they'll zap. Really useful. Here, I'll add some, two of these, one here, and one here. Smart. Alright, do I have a non-element weapon? Oh, my shotgun. Uh, okay, let's, let's add one though. What? Oh, good. Husks. Okay, so I'm down here, right? They can't see me. They're going down this path instead of others. And they're gonna get shot by the wall darts. Just like that. Just like that. Really useful to keep them in the tunnel while doing the two, three wall strat, such as this. Do this on the sides, and they will most definitely, almost definitely, go down here. All right, that's your ramp tunnel. Let's get to the next one. All right, guys, this is your fourth path, kill tunnel. This is the delay tunnel or half tunnel, I would say, because we want to push them off the cliff. So they have to walk back up and come back. This is how I do it. I have two wall launchers, two floor launchers, because two tiles. And I would have a ceiling like this, ceiling like this. All right, two wall launchers. These two would send, like push them off. Okay. These two would push them off and if the um, reload speed are off sync, which they are, if you look. Mine are reload 6.5 and 7.1, right? They're off sync. So that means after a bit of pushing, they'll be one will be working, the other will be recovering. And one will be working and the other one will be recovering. So it's really good if they're off sync. Let's try it out on these guys. Look, oh, okay, not not the small guys. The small guys won't work. The bigger ones would most definitely work. Like that, it flies off. 
Next. Okay, there's no more next. But you get the idea. Now here are some tips on your wall tunnel. First of all, you most almost definitely need more than one wall on each side. One wall as in having like two walls like this. One wall, two wall. They have to break this and this together. Now, most of the time, they would just pass through the middle. That's why it's almost definitely at least have two walls. That is the first tip. The second tip, have low walls. Like this. This is a low quarter, low half wall. Alright, if you want low or medium half walls, you can just do this. Two on top of each other. This way, the only bad part about this way, it has more HP, it's really good, but you can't shoot past it. This, well, you can shoot right past it, and you can see whatever is behind it. This, if it's a small guy, you can't see it. That's the second tip. The other tip is you can either split them up like this. So, you basically have two tunnels like this, right? And then make them path together afterwards. Just like this. This way, you can make them path even more. So they have to walk here and then walk here. If you give them, oh my gosh. If you give them a hard time walking in, especially this part, they will all cluster together right over here and then they're gonna have a tough time pathing here. So it's really useful if you want them to, well if they have different spawn points and you want them to walk into the same path. This way it's almost guaranteed. But make sure, make sure, 100% make sure to have a double wall in the back like this. Let's get rid of these guys. Okay. Make sure to have at least two walls. It's best if you have four, I mean three. You can have four if you want. Like this. This is four walls and one tile. One, two, three, four. They break this and this and then this and then this. The more walls you have, the better it is, but most of the time you just need two and they will just walk to the open area. Alright guys, that'll be it for this episode on Fortnite Kill Tunnels. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe down below and like the video if you enjoy what you're watching. Peace.